So a couple of times recently I've mentioned in videos that there are only three knockout pets. And uh, if you just stop and think for a second, you'll realize that that is incorrect. And uh, I was thinking of Rhino, Falcon and Egyptian Vulture. But of course we also have Hippo. And Hippo is definitely one of my least bought units. And so that definitely makes it a candidate for one of these obviously videos. And today we're going for Hippo plus four Koalas. Now Hippo is kind of a polarizing unit. Some people, especially beginners, um, think that it's overpowered and you will very frequently see posts in the official discord uh, from players asking for it to be nerfed which is um it kind of shows you i mean we saw the other night with the video where i posted where i was playing on my old account which is considered as a, as a beginner the sheer number of opposing teams that were playing hippo um you know gives you an indication of why people complain about it and uh and at the opposite end of the spectrum, I think most experienced players think Hippo is garbage and uh, no one takes it. Um, it's probably one of the least common pets that I see if I'm playing Turtle Pack. And uh, in customs, maybe it's uh, a little bit more common. Um, I'm not sure. I've been playing an awful lot of customs lately and I really don't see Hippo that often. But the idea was to try and find some kind of a synergy with it. Now, the knockout pets, I think Hippo and Rhino have very, very limited uh, synergies. You've got things like Rat, um, you know, putting Tiger behind them, but I think Tiger is just so dull. Uh, you see it so often. And uh, I thought I would try and come up with something a little bit more unusual. And we're going for four Koalas because there isn't really a support, like a dedicated support pet for the knockout pets. Koala triggers on Heart, so friend hurt, but there's no equivalent for knockout, which uh, maybe they can think about adding something like that in the future. But the idea is the hippo gets hit, it re regenerates some of its own health, but then it also gets the boost from the four koalas. Now, of course, uh, thinking that that's going to be good enough to win is, um, you know, a bit of a fantasy. So instead, we're just going to have to stat up everything as much as possible uh, and hope that it's enough to... Um, to get the team across the line. So I felt like I, I tried a lot of different uh, openings with this and eventually decided that I would use Leech Peacock and then um, bring in the Hippo and swap the stats. A uh, quick pause here to note that that team had a level two skunk with six attack and the links on five, which reduced the Peacock down to seven and then instant killed it. So that's pretty rare to see something like that. Um, without a level 3 skunk. So we're going to apply some stats to the koala as well. We know all the koalas are hanging around and leaving them uh, with low stats is just not an option. So I get chameleon here. I'm going to give the uh, flashlight buffs to the koala and then we'll freeze a peacock for the level up. I think peacock is probably going to go uh, as soon as we find the hippo. We don't really need to keep scaling it any further with the leech. And playing Leech Peacock, as you saw from that skunk round, is uh, pretty risky. Uh, although it is, uh, you know, if you get a very good start, it can give you, um, you know, an incredible uh, platform when you do the stat swap. I also can't use Muskox every single game. <laughs> it's getting a bit ridiculous. So we take the level on the Peacock and I also get the Cat. And Cat seemed like one of the, the best options for trying to um, get an injection of stats into the koalas because the hippo is going to be in a decent place to begin with and uh, we really need to bring the other members of the squad up to a point where they can contribute in the battle. And once the leech is gone, um, the koala scaling is not going to do anything. It's only going to be temporary stats in the battle. So we'll sell the leech now, bring the hippo in, transfer the stats over and then give it a lemon. A lot of the time I was going with Lemon, um, I felt like, you know, it's just easier than trying to find the turtle pill. Um, I think in the end I maybe had Melon in this pack as well anyway. Uh, a lot of the time I start out with packs where I only have turtle uh, and pill and then just assume that that's going to be good enough to help me get Melon. But a lot of the time it's just easier to have it as one of the tier 6 options. So this team, actually, I faced them quite a few times and they killed a lot of runs. But thankfully there, they haven't had the octopus at the front for very long with the uh, the monkey. 
So we're going to go for the level two cat uh, rather than going straight to buying the stat food. And then um, I'll bring in the puma for one turn because we'll get the double from the flashlight. And I think I'm actually going to move the koala to the front because the hippo is going to be overkill. It's going to max out the attack stat far too quickly. The cat will be able to do that, uh, you know, top it up a little bit more. Uh, here's one of the reasons hippo is so weak. Um, you know, skunk, you, you're investing everything into the hippo to try and make its ability fire multiple times, and then you'll just auto lose to skunk. And there are some other things, you know, not necessarily super common, but scorpion is another one. Probably more common to see it in pack one than it is to see it in uh, in customs. But you've also now got to worry about um, peanut on the front unit from uh, mongoose. So we max out the hippo's attack. With the lemon, it's essentially 50-50 there. Maybe I need one more uh, health. But there you go. There's the scorpion. And at this point, I've actually played, uh, I don't know how many games, a lot. Probably something like 30 or 40 at least. And I don't think I'd lost, you know, I don't think I'd been hit by a front scorpion once. But there we go, it's bound to happen sooner or later. So I think we're gonna, um, you know, stop at level two hippo. Um, there were some games where I had level three, which uh, it definitely, you know, feels a lot better, but uh, it's just such an investment and we need the gold to boost up the koalas. Uh, so we get away with that one. And I think uh, I'm gonna start working on the, um, the second koala. The other one I'll just keep frozen for now and then bring it in at the end. Rolling double chocolate would usually be nice, but I mean, it's not worth leveling the koala. It's uh, it, ultimately its ability here is really just cosmetic um, because it's not really gonna do anything there. I think, did they, would the hippo have got up to 50-50 there by itself? The whole team gets weakened here, but thankfully their lionfish has, uh, has uh, very low stats and we're fine. Although actually it was quite close in the end despite their uh, team having pretty weak stats. So there's uh, Mongoose and yeah, a lot of the time I was taking Mongoose to get the coconut. Um, I, obviously it's better than lemon. I get, well, I guess maybe there are some situations if you get hit by, you know, a snake snipe or something like that, then having two hits with the, the lemon can be useful. And uh, the coconut can still get removed pretty easily. So here's an opposing team that also has the coconut. However, I get very fortunate here. I guess they just didn't notice with the buy selling that they'd left Ant in the front spot. So the coconut was wasted. And then we also get very fortunate that it's blue ringed octopus that spawns from the stork. I think any other spawn there, you know, any summon or whatever would have uh, easily beaten me. And I think uh, we're just looking for more stat food for middle koala, maybe a melon as well would be nice. I would kind of also like to have uh, Mongoose to buy sell again for more coconut, but then we would have to get rid of the cat. So we do find some stat food eventually. That was a very poor turn. But hopefully the hippo can keep uh, carrying us. And here is a team that was constantly a problem. Not, not this team specifically, but just this build. But thankfully they don't have level three woodpecker or wolverine there because that would have probably deleted the hippo, I think, coupled with the mantis shrimp snipes. So we lose the coconut, so we're back to just lemon, but two uh, stat foods uh, tripled from the cat gets the koala closer to 50-50. And I think here, because I roll cow and sauropod, I take the cow and then bring sauropod in so I can buy the milk and then sell sauropod for eagle just for a little bit more survivability. Although this team is looking pretty rancid for turn 17. And uh, this is actually kind of an unusual opponent. They've got Lionfish, Beluga, Lioness. Uh, so it's kind of like a mixture of Snipes, Summons and Shop Scaling. And I think here, yeah, they do get Anteater, which is a decent spawn from Orca. But I think there were a few spawns there that could have been a big problem, but... Uh, Anteater wasn't one of them. And we're now gonna get a chance to go for the four koala team. And there is koala number four in the shop. I think I'm just gonna buy the chicken leg. Maybe here I should just roll hard roll for melon for the middle uh, koala. I rolled double zebra and I do think about buy selling them both because I'm on seven. 
but I'd rather get Melon or uh, Stingray. And Stingray lets us get the sock. So we've got a, like a skunk in the back pocket and I'll freeze the Melon just in case this team somehow draws. Although really we expect to flame out here. And we face this uh, four squad with Jerboa and the skunk, uh, not the skunk, the stingray actually reduces the moth to 30 health and we win as a result. So I was incredibly thankful to be done with that one. Koala and Hippo, both very poor units. So here's a couple of bonus clips. This one is turn eight, getting matched with someone who almost has a 50-50. Now way back, you used to see that quite often with uh, the old version of Dog, but here they've got level three starfish and just gone absolutely ballistic with the buy cells. And I've got another one here, very similar to the uh, the main run with the cat, multiple koalas and the hippo. And this is another uh, interesting opposing team. Uh, we'll click and turn. And uh, I don't think this run has much chance, but we face uh, someone going for the full moose team here. They've got the 650 husky in the back, which is pretty amusing. And uh, actually we're only just gonna scrape the win here. I hope they manage to get their five of a kind in the end.